Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Frostpunk. We are picking up here right where we last left off. Been a little bit of time since our last episode, so I apologize for that. I'm not sure if we'll be going too much further after this episode for now. Uh, if you do want more episodes, you gotta leave me those likes and uh, comments down below. Just let me know if you're still interested in this and want to see more. Uh, but we are going to play through today and uh, see if we can't keep our people from freezing here. We are a little low on coal, down to 242, 241. It is dropping here. If we look over at our economy, we're at a bit of a uh, shortfall in our coal production here. We're consuming 366 per day and only producing 333. So, before we get too heavy into things, let's see if we can't... Oh, I guess we don't have any extra people, though, at the moment. We're waiting for our explorer, our scout, to come back. And our scout does have some more workers with him, so... Once he gets back in just over four hours, we should be able to get some more people working. And it's telling us we got 14 hours of coal left. So we might be able to make it here. Our hope is pretty high. Discontent is pretty low. So overall, we're, we're surviving. We're still very low on food, though. And uh, we got lots of trees, lots of wood. We're currently waiting on our steel worker are still works, I should say, to finish researching so we can make the uh, build the steel works. After that, I was kind of looking at doing a bunkhouse, researching bunkhouses, so we could have, um, I guess, fewer homes and warmer. Uh, but it does take quite a bit of steel to make a bunkhouse. Uh, steel, which we don't really have a lot of, only 37 units. So we're during uh, free time right now. We'll just speed things up a little bit. Wait for our scout to come home with the uh, extra workers. We've got a lot of people being treated. There are a lot of amputees. But it uh, looks like people are being sent out of the care facilities. Uh, we got four homeless people. Oh, how did we get two extra people here? All right, our scout is returned. All right, we got, uh, let's see here, 14 more workers, 18 more engineers, and four children. All right, cool, cool. So we got the, uh, the, the workers that we need here. Let's go out to our gathering post. We have maximum amount of workers here. Okay. How about out of the sawmill? We don't really need more wood, though. That's the resource depot. I guess, do we... Hold on. We have a coal pile here. Let's go over to this one. Right, so we could uh, send more people out to these. So let's send people there, and send people there. Get all the coal we can get. Our scout is waiting to go back out, so let's send him on a mission to the last place here, the steel bridge. Check that out. We got 41 homeless, so we are going to have to build some more homes here. More tents. So we'll take care of this right now. doesn't quite fit there. Okay. I kind of want to build them around these heat locations. So if I look here, it does extend out. Alright, so we can probably... Let's see. We could probably put one here. And then one right behind it. So that's three. And then let's put one more over here. Where will it snap to? Right there? Alright. Cool. Let's put in our roads. Like 
that. And this one needs to be connected here. Just throw that down to there. I think that uh, should connect everything now. And we'll have one... Uh, maybe we should make one more house then, too. Alright, it is work time. 8 o'clock in the morning. we got 22 people without any jobs. we got wood crates here. Um, got some steel here. Let's uh, send a bunch of people to work in the steel. And it's an iron ore deposit there. Our research is almost done. I'm not sure where else I want to send people to. Where's that steel deposit again? That's the crates. Right there. Okay, let's just send a bunch of engineers there. And then the rest of the people can just work on building stuff. One hungry, starving person. Our steel work is uh, complete. So let's pick our next research here. Should we go straight to the bunkhouse? Or should we go to medical post upgrade? That's 10 steel as well. Are all these 10 steel? Looks like they are. Charcoal kiln, what's this? Uses intense heat to char up to 70 wood per standard workday, producing 210 coal. Hmm. Okay, interesting. We could get another scout. Well, we only have that one more location, so I think we'll stick with one scout for now. I think we're doing okay for heat as well. So, I think it's coming down to either medical post upgrade. Heal 10% faster. Or the bunkhouse. Let's go. We have all the ho houses right now, so let's do the uh, medical post upgrade. Alright. That's moving along. This guy's got a day to get to that location. A long time. Let's take a look at our economy again and our coal production. We're now in a uh, large surplus, so that's good. Alright, how about food? We're in a large deficit. We're losing about 72 per day. Everything's... Well, I guess we could put some more people into this hunter's hut. We'll just toss some... Oh, we can't put engineers in there. Maybe we take uh, some workers out of here. Put engineers in there and then put workers there. Go with that, I guess. We have 99 ration, zero raw food. Well, we can make our steel works, right? So I guess I'd be right here. Twenty it's only twenty-five wood. Mild frostbite. Okay, someone's got frostbite. So if we take this where whoops, where will it let us build this? Let's try this again here. I guess we have to find a deposit, right? Not adjacent to street, invalid location. Over here. Oh, okay, I see. Is that the only uh, deposits we have? I guess so. Just those two. Alright, well, I guess that's where it has to go. And it has to go on top of one. Okay, so we'll put it on top of this one then. And we will build a road. 
out there. Just connect it up to this one. Right on. Get that built, start uh, producing some more steel. How much coal is left in these? 222, just under 100. And then we have our coal deposits over here. So after we get this thing researched, we'll have to probably go into coal mining. 240 coal per workday from underground deposits. And this will use up one of the uh, steam cores once we're able to build it. All right. Interesting. Still one whole day for our scout. That hasn't really changed. These people should be going out to uh, work on this building now and build this road. Nineteen homeless still? Are they not? Did they not build all these houses? Well, there's still a couple here to build, or at least one. No, nope, that's built. Inoperative. Oh, because they don't have the uh, street built. Well, I guess we have to work. Wait for them to finish their work time. Two are in palliative care. 13 amputees, 27 children, 61 engineers, and 96 workers. Alright, let's fast forward a bit here. Coal pile depleted. Alright, well work day is over. There goes one coal pile. This one will run out tomorrow, most likely. Our research isn't quite done yet, so we're going to have to jump into that coal production right away. Looks like the hunters are heading out again. And uh, we're, we're out of food. We do not have enough food. We're going to have a lot of starving people here in a minute. This is up and running, though. Let's go max there. Take uh, some people off of this. Can we put engineers in here too? Yeah. Perfect. And there is, what is that, 100,000 steel? Jesus, that's a lot. How much does our uh, sawmill have? 1,852. But we do have more uh, forest deposits around here. Yeah, we are a hungry group of people here. Temperature is going to rise 10 degrees out tomorrow, so that's good. Then it's going to drop back down in a few more days. Now, have they built these roads? Not yet. Can they not reach them? Or what's going on there? Maybe it's not connected yet. Alright, there we go. Do that. That's my bad. We should be able to finish that now. Get the last two homes up and then get everyone inside. Seven and a half hours for our scout. Okay. Working. Work day has started. I feel like we're on the verge of uh, a disaster here. 
like our dis discontent is very low, hope is very high. But we're like we're teetering on having enough food for people. Not sure if I should be doing another hunter's hut. I don't really know how many I should have. Uh, our medical post upgrade has been completed. Okay, let's do our coal mining. Let's start that. Our steel production is uh, increasing here. We're up to 59 now. Let's take another look at our economy. Yeah, we're still in a pretty big deficit here. It's fully staffed though, everything that we have. We could, I guess, reduce the uh, ration, right? Did, didn't we figure out how to reduce the ration at one point? What's our history been like? Raw food gain. Food ration use has steadily been increasing. Yeah, things aren't looking good on the, on the food front. Uh, the coal front is looking pretty good though. Our health status, zero untreated citizens, 22 are in treatment, 28 cured yesterday, so this is, this is looking pretty good. Our sick has uh, dropped considerably. We reached our peak, peak medical capacity just a couple days ago. Housing is good, we got six vacant beds. 20 in care houses. And our steel and wood management. Steel storage 61, wood 212, we're gaining 64 per day for steel, 56 per day for wood. Yeah, food, food, food. Well, maybe we should build another one. Let's build another hunter's post. Do it uh, back here. There, and it's connected there. All right, steel wreckage has been depleted over on this side. So we're gonna have more workers available. Let's toss a few more into the sawmill. It's under construction. That is full. Our gathering post inoperative. No resources in range. Okay, so we can. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we uh, dismantle this again? Yeah, there we go. So let's dismantle that. This is fully staffed. Oh, we do have some wood crates here. We might as well just grab grab all that stuff. If people need something to do. Although this hunter set being built as well, so we'll probably just throw those people back over into here. Take a look at our scout. He is almost at the steel bridge. Very close. We need more raw food for the kitchen. Down to 58, 57 rations. We're using 179 a day, yeah, okay. I thought we figured out how to reduce rations. Oh no, that's in the uh, book of um, book of laws, right? Yeah, here we go. It was this one. The food additives or the soup. Or what was the soup one? We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. I think I need to do one of these. Hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise slightly, eating soup will cause discontent. Some people eating sawdust may fall ill. No, I think let's go with soup. Let's do the soup law. Do it. Yeah, 
I know. I know you don't really want to do it, but we don't really have a choice. Doesn't tell us what's next after that yet. We might have to wait, unless that's just the end of the road for that. I suppose we could go to emergency shift two. Just have people work longer hours. Could be an option. Let's fast forward a little bit here. Our scout is arriving at his location. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, Built by the people of Winterholm in AD 1887, the bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. Ooh. Can we get the automaton to join us? A functional automaton. We stopped at the edge of the deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Sites discovered. A weather station and a large convoy. I think we should send it to the city. I want to see what this thing can do for us. So let's go send it to the city. And it will safely reach the city on its own. And we can send our guy off to the next place. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. Alright, cool. A large convoy or a weather station. Send scouts here to learn more about this place, a tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof. It is most likely a weather station set up by scientists for winter home. 16 hours to arrive. Or there's a large convoy, 13 hours to arrive, several vehicles and tents so we can see people moving between them, and smoke rising from a campfire. But do we need more people right now? Let's go to the weather station first. Let's go there. The automaton. One and a half days to get home. Almost two days. What's this? The search for other cities. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge in Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in winter home. Hope falls slightly. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so we got our hunter shack up there. Let's take people off of this and put them in here. Good. We're almost done researching our coal. So we got a coal deposit there. Is there any other coal deposits nearby existing roads though? It's not a deposit. That one's probably the closest, I guess. That one's uh that one's not that far off either though. We could just do a extend a road from from there. Might be equidistance. No, I think it's uh I think it's a bit closer over here. Yeah, so let's uh do our next research. Now that we have steel production, we could probably do the the bunkhouse. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and build our coal mine right there. And we'll do a road up to that. Like that. Steam cores. We have just used our first steam core. 
Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. I see. I believe we knew that already. We have one more steam core. Uh, we're actually pretty low on coal right now. What's going on here? Uh, we're not producing any right now because people aren't working. Coal lasts for 12 hours. Huh. It's a little worrying. It's 730. That means it's gonna run out just as people are getting it to work. So, uh, since it's a little bit warmer, I should probably turn off heaters. If places have heaters. Which places have heaters? Turn that off. Let's turn that off. Or maybe we should leave the outlying ones on. Just the ones in the city we can turn off. That's already off. That's already off. Most of these are already off, though. Hmm. I mean, we could turn this off. Can we? Yeah, we can turn it off. I think we can afford to turn this stuff off for now. It'll be a bit chilly. Just want to make sure we don't run out of coal, though. 15 hours. Alright, bought us a little bit more time. That should get us to uh, morning and when people start working. Not sure if there's any other. Well, I guess we could turn these heaters off out here. Push comes to shove. Yeah, let's turn that off. This should be built fairly quickly with all these people working. They have their road built. And we'll get uh, we'll get as many people working here as possible. Oh, I guess we yeah we ran out of our other coal deposit. That's why this is happening. Yes, not sure why I randomly forgot that. So it's just in time that we're getting this thing made. There we go. All right, I guess we're putting engineers in there for now. Twelve hours left. Oh yeah, we got this. It's 2.30 in the morning. Scout uh, will be at the uh, next location very soon. Discontent has dropped again. Two homeless people. Oh, and discontent just jumped in. Overcrowded medical facilities. Hope our hunters get back soon. So we don't have much for food left. Just fast forward a bit. Taking a look at things here. Everything is chilly. We got some livable conditions, but for the most part, we're looking at chili across the board. Well, we could, could have turned those off too, I guess. Yeah, the medical post, right. God bless our captain, I'd follow him anywhere. So kind of you to say. We have a two hour cooldown on our book of laws. Alright, 
The scout has arrived at the next location. So we're at the weather station now. There's nobody in the weather station, but everything still seems to be operational. We could try to find what the scientists from Winter Home were working on. Search might provide steam cores and coal. Okay, well, let's explore. A grim forecast. We found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There is also a can of spam, not even a there's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they moved out for good. We can see the city of Winter House or Winter Home from the roof of the weather station. So we discovered a coal mine and winter home. We'll take uh, let's see you got 92 coal and one steam core. Let's keep moving on to Winter Home here. Or we could go to the coal mine. I think we'll be okay with the coal. So we did get that, uh, our own coal mine built here, so. There could be no doubt, uh, it's a city much like ours. We can see the top of the generator, but it's switched off, perhaps for maintenance. All right, we're gonna head there. Still a day left before the automaton gets back to us. Search for other cities, the abandoned station. This recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened at such an important facility that apparently is abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we should have shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, no tents and wooden shacks. We'll have answers soon enough. Hope falls slightly again. Do not lose faith. We will make it. Now this thing is not connected? I thought we had it connected. Or is it just free time right now? I think it's just free time right now. Another half hour and they'll be at work. We got seven hours of coal left. Luckily, this happened during a warmer stretch. There we go, work time. Let's see. I want to see some coal production here. Six hours of coal left. Now, it's probably quicker if we just do a road from here. Let's extend this one up, right? That's probably the quickest way to go to work. The sawmill is busy working. 1700 wood left. Produce 24 coal an hour. Oh man, we're so low, down to 40. This has not changed yet. Maybe once everyone gets in there working. All right, let's give it some time. All right, getting this other road built. It's fired up now. There we go. 240 per day. Back into a positive. A surplus. So we should have enough built up once the cold stretch comes to uh, turn our heaters back on. That was close. Food is looking a little bit better. Let's uh, actually take a look at this. We're actually in the positive now, just barely. So the soup did help, plus the extra hunting, uh, the hunter's shack, hunter's hut. Our next research is almost done, the bunkhouse. We got a good stockpile of steel right now. 
So let's get that finished and let's build our first bunkhouse. Then we can start knocking down some of the tents. Let's actually do a few bunkhouses here. So what were the requirements again? 20 wood, 10 steel. Yeah, we got we got enough here. We can do like three. Uh, not quite enough room there. We'll just uh, do like a little bunkhouse complex over here. Let's do four. And we'll do a road in between there. Perfect. So these bunkhouses hold 10 people versus, well, it's still 10 people for the tent. But we got heating level of 2 instead of 1. Same as the child shelter. Our automaton is almost home. So I guess if you guys want to see some more episodes, just let me know down below. I am interested to see what this automaton is though, so we maybe we'll have one more episode for sure. Thanks a lot for watching though guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me some comments down below, and until next time, I'll talk to you all later.